Okay, so this is the perfume I use. It's even wrapped off, like the name is even wrapped off. Like I need to get a proper full size perfume because I literally took this from my mom's um toiletry bag. So I need to get my own, but then this works for now. And yeah. Okay, let's see it. Now I'm gonna style my hair, but I don't know what his style I'll do. But first I'm gonna put this. Okay, so right now the time is currently half past six exactly and I want to read you guys my schedule for today. So at 9 from 9 to 11 I have a welcome and introductory lecture for psychology, not psychology, physiology. They are always confused the two for physiology and then at 12 to 1 we have an inaugural lecture for molecular medicine. And then at 2 to 3, we have an anatomy dedication opening ceremony. So for this year, I'm taking four modules, uh, four in the first semester and then three in the second semester. So the four modules are, I wrote them down, it's human anatomy, molecular medicine, medical thought and practice, and physiology and medical biochemistry. So I'm taking this four and then medical thought and practice is a semester module. So yeah, those are the four courses I'm taking today and the schedule for today. So yeah, we've received a lot of help from like third years and fourth years going up, which I'm really grateful for because it's going to be really helpful. Because like, yeah, it's my first time doing second year, so I can take all the help that I need. And yeah, so that's my schedule for today. Um, The two hour one, the first physiology one, why is it so long? <laughs> Yo, why is it so long? But then it's fine just get through it because it's been a while since i've attended lectures so i have a feeling that i'm gonna be falling asleep in those lecture halls and stuff but i will get used to it we get used to it as time goes by but then yeah um what did i want to say i don't think there's anything else that i want to update you guys on so right now i don't know what to do my first class is at night so i think i'm gonna leave my room at like half past eight because it's like i think it's medicine bhsc and another course combined so it's gonna be really full the auditorium so when i get space to sit so i'm just gonna go a little bit earlier because yeah um excited to see some people in my course that i haven't seen since last year but nevertheless we'll see how the day goes and i painted my nose uploading a youtube video and so yesterday for the academic stuff i did molecular medicine and also what's the other one um physiology so i'm trying to do um anatomy right now and nothing is making sense like nothing is making sense i don't understand what's going on where i'm supposed to start and tomorrow we have dissections i think yeah we are dissecting cadavers Yo, am I not scared? Yo, guys, I'm scared. I've never seen a dead body before. So I'm scared. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Not gonna lie, I'm scared. But it's all is well. It will be well. Even yes, last year, we were scared to, die, to dissect reds. But we got through it. So we'll also get through it this year. But then, yeah, um, hey, I'm, not, I'm just gonna leave it. I'll talk to a friend. Maybe he can explain because I'm confused. I'm lost. But then yeah, right now it's currently 7.50 and I'm just gonna lay on my bed and watch Netflix, not gonna lie, cause what am I gonna do? I don't have anything else to do. So I'm just gonna watch Netflix and then 
at 8 i'm gonna pack my bag and then iron my lab coat because you're gonna need it for this anatomy ceremony thing that i told you guys so basically for that ceremony we're just going to like online appreciate the cadavers that like the people that donated i don't know if donated is the right word that are letting us use their bodies for our own studies so that's what the ceremony is for so you're gonna need my lab coat for that so i'm just gonna iron it because it's it's so wrinkled from how i packed it so i'm just gonna do all of that at eight o'clock or maybe quarter past eight and then leave at eight o'clock but i wanna ish, ew, i wanna go it's currently exactly half past eight and i wanna leave but then also at the same time i don't wanna go alone because you know that excitement of working with friends to your first class excited talking about the new year the new semester all of that and yeah i want to experience that low key so i think i'll text one of my friends see if she's going now because you guys this year i wanna socialize more i wanna approach people and see how it goes because your know, girl is a little bit lonely not gonna lie but yeah let's see if she's available and so another thing i feel like because it's second year most people already have established their friend groups so like if you are joining in it's like you are interrupting their flow but has to be done. We'll just see. ended like it was literally 37 minutes i thought maybe they were gonna use the whole two hours that they allocated for physiology but they didn't so after the lecture we went to collect um some papers i also picked up some for a friend because he couldn't make it so they have four sets and then the first one is a physiology laboratory manual and we're doing we have I don't even I hope I collected this correct ones. I have this enzymes one. It's a like like lecture lecture slides. Then we have um body fluids, then lastly we have question example booklet. So these are all the things we got today. And right now I'm just gonna sit in my room and wait for lunch time and then go down and have lunch. Then at twelve we have an inaugural lecture so i actually didn't need to bring my lab coat because 
here but i didn't know so yeah, it's fine so, my phone died my i mean my camera died so i'm vlogging on my phone but as i was saying we have a quiz that's due on that's coming out on wednesday then it's due next week sometime i forgot when but yeah so i'm just gonna go through body fluids just gonna do as much as i can highlighting whatever i found important and then i'll go have my shoes currently four minutes to 11 and i'm done with two sections of psychology which is physi your of physiology and what i'm thinking right now is i still need to get my um plug and my desk lamp fixed so and when the website will normally log our maintenance like complaints it's not working so i think i'll just go downstairs and check if he's there so maybe he can come up to my room and fix them i don't know if he needs me in the room -ish. And I think he does. So I don't know if now is a safe time to go because I still want to get lunch and then go to go to class at 12. So I think let me just go ask him if he's available and yeah, let me just go. But then I did like need some highlighting and stuff. I'm done with I'm done with um section, that section next. I'm gonna start with body fluids compartments when I come back. Hopefully I can be done with like four sections today and then i don't i think we're having dissections tomorrow i'm not entirely sure of yet but if you are if we do then i'll do some studying for that but then my time is half past 11 so i can still do them in the morning so that i don't forget when i get there so if we have them tomorrow i think when i come back i'll do like four sections of this because right now i'm going to the second section mm -mm, going to the fourth so i think i'll do four more and then do moment and she medical thought and practice they're not telling us anything i don't know what's going on with that course but they're not saying anything so we'll just see as time goes on but uh, let me pack my things and go downstairs this is my lunch I have mashed potato have beef spinach and then chakalaka so i'm just gonna eat this while i watch netflix and then i can take my stuff and head to our next lecture and they put the one with like two inserts so now i don't have to really use this just and then yeah my fridge is on and i don't have that extension cord running from outside so i have class right now so i'm just gonna lock up i'm taking my headphones inside because yeah i'm gonna distract myself so i don't become lonely guys update i'm back from my you are this angle maybe okay better i am back from my second lecture and yeah it's done for the day so right now it will talk it's currently like six minutes past one it's will talk we have that ceremony and they don't allow bags inside so i'm going to leave my bag and then only take my lab coats each guys like look what the iron did in the morning i don't know if you guys can see here i'm gonna do my laundry today i thought of doing it at 5 a.m but the new guys are judging me in the comments for doing my laundry that early so i'm just gonna take my student card i don't know if i'll ever need that i'm just gonna take my student card and then i'm going outside to meet up with the those friends that i was with and then So guys, I don't know if you want to see the cadaver today or what, but I'm shaking.
guys so i am back i'm done with my classes for today it is currently 20 minutes to four and as you guys know dinner is at four so at four i'm gonna go down and have dinner but let's debrief on the day so yes yeah, you guys saw so from 10 from 9 to 12 i had physiology but we actually spent 37 minutes in that class so after that we went to collect our scripts not script uh notes and like answer things and question bank and stuff those kind of things so we collected those at medical school then i came back had my lunch then i went back to that auditorium again as you guys so and then we had our momed which is molecular medicine lecture from 12 until 1 and then we were done with that like a few minutes before 1 so then i came back to rest put my stuff and then only took my lab coat and phone then we went back to medical school then only got to medical school was the ceremony thing so yeah okay so during those two lectures they were just basically telling us about the course what to expect the the thing about what's this like how to calculate marks and exemptions like to explain those kind of things some explain the negative marking they're introducing us to the course coordinators and all of that so that's what happened during those two lectures and then um later on for for anatomy we had a, a ceremony from what time from two to three but then it finished at three o'clock it took like an hour so we got there and then um we grouped like this and not to me 2020 which is the course code and then there's another one i forgot what it's called so they just there's two dissection halls so we went to one that's for my course code so we went to that hall i was not prepared i was not mentally prepared for what i was going to see in that hall i was not prepared i'm still shocked i thought maybe it's just a hall with chairs and then there's the stage where um where the person who's gonna do who's gonna be ending the ceremony is gonna stand there and then speak to us was i not shocked tell me when you get there they're telling us switch off your phones no phones allowed okay the dissection lab okay we switched off our phones and they gave us this um paper having i forgot what it's called it's like kind of like a pledge and oath kind of thing that you will not reveal the person that didn't yeah no, I don't remember, but it was just about appreciating the cadavers. And then I walk into the room. Tell me, ask me what I saw. Ask me what I saw. Tables, tables, tables. What's on top? What's on top of those tables? What's on top? Ask me again. What? <laughs> it's cadavers, guys. Was I not shocked? Like it's cadavers, they were covered with this white plastic, so you couldn't see their faces and their body. We'll see that tomorrow, but I was not expecting that. Just a boom in your face. Oh, and there's so many. Yo. And then we had to sit like the tables here of the cadaver on top. On top, there's a cadaver. And they covered the cadaver with like a plastic, a white plastic, so it's not clear, it's white. So you can't see inside you can't see the face you can't see the body you can't see anything it's just a white but you know there's the someone so I, you know the table is here and then I, I was literally sitting like right here right here right here if i wanted i could have and keep the table that's how close i was to that cadaver so i talked to my mom and i feel like i was overreacting <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm really more ready for tomorrow. See, I heard now it is currently oh, two minutes past four, so I'm gonna go downstairs and then get dinner. I'm thinking of getting fast food today because I haven't gotten it since I got here. But let's go downstairs and then when I come back, I'm gonna. Pro what time is it? I'm probably gonna start studying around six, and then yeah, I don't think I'll vlog that. I don't want too much. Study montages, but then I'll see you guys tomorrow in for day two and like my review on the sections. 
good morning guys and happy tuesday so today is the second day of medical of second year medical school so today i only have dissections um from half past 11 to half past one so i've anatomy dissections and yeah so as you guys saw yesterday i was really stressed really nervous but then today i think i've calmed down feeling a lot better feeling a lot um a little bit prepared for what or not to expect because they also released videos on like kind of like the things that i'm gonna do today so that helped and also um what's this i also the, also in those videos they were also like showing cadavers like the body of the cadaver and them the city and all of that so at least now i have an expectation of what i'm expecting to see when i see that cadaver so that kind of like prepared my mind so i'm not as nervous as i was yesterday and yeah they like they still haven't released the content for the um for the dissection today they only released the videos which is not gonna be that helpful because I need to know what I ish, but then it's fine. But then I know it's gonna be like 25 minutes past seven. I've already showered, um, to go to this outfit on. So right now I've done like all my work for anatomy for the dissections. I think I'm prepared for today, so I'm done for today. And then what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna make breakfast. And then after eating breakfast, I'm gonna do some more med. Cause yeah. I made a to-do list for today so I need to complete all of those things since I only have like a two hour thing going on today and I'm free for the rest of the day so I should make the use of it. this is the time currently it's 10 49 and as you guys know i have a dissection at half past 11 so um i've been studying for the morning i did two lectures of uh moment and then i did like one section of what's this physiology and then yeah for anatomy i did it in the morning from half past six to half past seven so like, i got prepared for the dissection for today so i think i'm good in that department so yeah what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna put on my shoes and then get ready to leave so um actually for dissections they don't allow bags in the dissection halls and in the like school of anatomy that's where we have our dissections which i think this window is making too much noise should i close it Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. But then yeah, they don't allow bags, so I have to leave my bag and phone at home. Cause also again, no electronic devices allowed. So I'm just gonna take my lab coat, um, gloves, mask, and then my dissection kit. And I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my student card and my I'm gonna take twenty rands because I want to load my Google bags. Cause there's some notes that I wanna print and also wanna print like for anatomy for me to stop like leaving my bags and things at, in address i have to get a locker so i need to apply for that and then they allocate a locker number to me so yeah i also need to print that form out so that's what i'm gonna do currently gonna put on my shoes take my lab coat and everything and then i'm gonna hey guys i am back and it's currently 1 30 56 here i'm so tired from the dissection when i came out it felt like it was supposed to be 4 p.m but it was still half past one like yo it was kind of tiring but i enjoyed everything it was not as bad as i thought it was gonna be it was actually quite enjoyable a good learning experience hey yeah, i'm excited for the other ones that will come i don't know why these doors are always open like i should close them but then yeah, I'm so excited for the others to come. I feel you. Yeah, I'm so drained right now. Like I'm so tired. My hands smell like what's that? I forgot. Is this formalin or something like that? It smells like that liquid. Like so. And my thingy, my lab coat. Like the sleeves are drenched in it. Probably can't see it, but I'm gonna wash it. I didn't even use the mask, so I don't think I'll need it. I didn't use pens and pencils, so not bringing them next time. And I'm just gonna. I'm going to wash this because it smells really bad and it's not something I can keep until next week. So I'm just gonna wash, hand wash this and then let it dry. It's gonna take like an hour break because I'm so tired. Yo. Nah, those lips are draining because you're standing for the whole two hours and just dissecting and cutting and removing fat 
and all of that but other than that was an enjoyable experience so yeah let me do all of that and i'll see you guys good morning guys happy wednesday so today i have one class it's from two o'clock to five o'clock it's from what's this i forgot but we call it a sim <clears throat> SCMD for short. Yeah, medical thought and practice. So yeah, we have that like an introductory lecture and then all of that. So yeah, that's what I only have for today. So right now it's currently half past seven. I've showered and everything, gotten ready for the day. But I'm, I'll just change my outfit and it's time to go to class. But yeah, right now I'm busy exporting some clips. I'm busy exporting some clips to my laptop so that I can edit uh, my moving in vlog. And yeah, I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna make breakfast while it's exporting Eat the eat that and then get to tackling my to-do list And then yeah, that's all I have for today. Nothing too interesting, but then I'll just see you guys as the day goes along and yeah Hey guys, so right now that this is the time currently It's 28 minutes past one and as I said, I have class at 2 o'clock Like why is my face cut off? I have class at 2 p.m. and yeah, so I'm all dressed now, ready to go to class. And yeah, I would think. So I think I'm gonna take this back today because literally it's just one class and I'm not gonna do a lot. So I'm gonna take. I'm literally gonna take a pen and a pencil and and this book to write any important information that they may tell us and then obviously my phone gonna bring the plus and then the locker phone that I told you guys about did I tell you I'm not sure but I'm gonna bring that as well and I'm just gonna put it in this because like I don't want to put it in the paper alone in the bag on itself and it gets scrunched and everything and like the place where we have to submit I don't know what time they close so the lecture is from 2 to 5 but then hopefully they don't last the whole 2 hours maybe like 1 hour then I can go and submit but then this is the outfit it's just like a basic outfit hey yeah, let me let me, I don't like my shirt showing here. Let me put on my shoes and then head out. It's not far from here, like a seven minute walk. But then, yeah, let's go to class.
So today it's the first of the month <laughs> yeah it's the first of February today and yeah so so as you guys should... let me just close the window Okay, as I was saying, as you guys so I was doing some study. So I studied for like forty five minutes, actually a little bit less under a little bit under forty five minutes, but I was doing lecture four of moment and I'm done with it. Well didn't take that long, it was like two twelve minute videos, then a seven minute video. So I'm done with that and then I have one more lecture for this week and a twelve minute video and a five minute video so it's also gonna be quick. So I'm just gonna to make my bed. I'm thinking if you I, I forgot to set the timer. I should me set the timer. And then I'm gonna set the timer here. If you don't mind my nails I'm gonna remove the nail polish today. But then yeah, I set the timer and I'm just gonna take a fifteen minute break and then I'm gonna make my bed right now. And then after that I'm just gonna wait for the fifteen minutes to end, then do the last lecture and then have breakfast and then I can do I can move on to what's this physiology and then finish the course content the module content for this week as well and then i think it will be lunch time by then so i can maybe probably before so i can shower then get lunch and then come back and spend the rest of the day doing anatomy so yeah and yeah today i have like we have a library session for is it physiology i'm not sure guys like you yeah. And yesterday I showed you guys my Google Calendar, but then yeah, I don't know. I don't know what course is for, but we have a library. I'll figure it out later. It's on Google. It's on Meet. Yo, it's online, so I'll join that. And then today Hope is actually moving into her rest, so I'm hoping I can see her today. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping I can go. But then there's nothing stopping me. If it's online, then I can just join wherever. So I don't have like I don't think I have anything I have to be in person for so hopefully I don't like I'm praying I don't because <laughs> yeah so I'm just gonna be in my room today studying and all of that so let me take my food it's even running out I have 13 minutes from all this talking so I'm just gonna make my bed and then relax then come back to this finish this I don't know I'm repeating the whole process but I already told you guys and yeah let's get into it. So it's currently like quarter to ten and I'm done 
with um with one section of physiology so i'm left with two other sections and then um, at 10 o'clock is going to be low cheating so that's going to be an inconvenience but at least the generator is going to kick in but yeah um so i'm left with two sections as i said and right now i'm just gonna take a little break i was reading about the demo and yeah some interesting stuff now it feels like i'm doing like, stuff related to medicine and not doing physics and chemistry and stuff so yeah now a lot of things the most of the things that i'm doing they're actually exciting and yeah but then um so i'm just gonna take a break right now and then wait for the electricity to come back because i know the generator's gonna take a while or maybe i should go and shower now and if it, the electricity leaves while i'm in the shower is imagine showering with cold water now let me go shower now and then yeah and then while the electricity is like doing its thing then i can be getting dressed and stuff let me go shower let me go shower i'll be back it don't matter what they say about us it don't matter what they say about us Long as we have the God that we trust It don't matter what they say about us Some people think it's strange How could we possibly be born again? They say what we believe is fantasy but it's not fantasy to you and me Not to you and me, me oh, no. Hey guys, so um, this is our time I don't know if you guys can see it But it's 18 minutes past 3 and my girl is feeling lazy Oh, guys I'm feeling so lazy And I need to watch one more lecture of MoMAD Oh no, I'm done with MoMAD, I need to start the PSC um, I need to I need to finish um, physiology. Literally, the notes are right here, but I'm so okay. I'm actually gonna force myself to do because my laptop is dead. So like that's also demotivating me because I don't feel like sitting on my desk. So I think I'll just watch the videos on Ulazi on my phone. Okay, filming actually made me motivated. So now I'm just gonna um, log in and then actually do what I have to do and stop being lazy but then I gotta do for I'm gonna go wash my container yeah, this video is like 20 something minutes oh okay yeah so I'm gonna go wash my container so I can go back to my yeah and my stomach is upset I don't know like lately all the food that I've been eating has been making my stomach upset for some reason I don't know if it's because it's been a while since I ate the dining hall food for you. Yeah. I'm just gonna go through these. Okay, it's not that long actually. So hopefully I'll be done and I'll be left with one more section that I can do that and then maybe look up some past papers to do. And yeah, also start anatomy later on because you ish I haven't started with anatomy. So. As soon as I'm done with this two modules today, can start on a simulator on and then tomorrow on Friday then ish your way, get the ash up. What sort of fluid movements do they trigger? And what are the consequences and under what circumstances do we end up with the different states of hydration? Friday, it's the last day of the week, the last day of the first week of second year. And yeah, let's have a productive day today. So today I have a synchronous lecture which is gonna be online for physiology and also have a reinforcement lecture in person. So yeah, that's like what I have for today, but let's have a productive day and yeah, let's end the week on a good note. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so this is the time currently and it's currently load shedding so there's no Wi-Fi so I'm just gonna wait for that to come back and yeah, you guys, I've 
I'm doing anatomy right now. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm doing anatomy and you know, there's a lot of things to know. So I want to watch some YouTube videos like to find some study techniques on how to like study anatomy because I feel like it's not something that you can just read and look over because you have to remember those various parts of the bones, the muscles attached to them and stuff like that. So it's not something you can just read over and hope you remember. So it's just something like you have to know. Not memorize but then no but then ish. I don't know. We'll see about the memorizing part. But then I just have some notes that they provided on the drive. And literally everything she said in the video is literally on the notes. Like in the order that she's saying those things. So I think I'm just gonna go through the notes. Because I feel like in the video she's just speaking G. Like I need time to process myself. I need time to make connections. So like to connect the name. For example, there's this name, it's called the um the clavicle pectoral triangle so like i can understand okay this part is called the clavicle pectoral triangle because it's found near the clavicle in the pectoral region so it's like this triangle here so like those kind of connections and while she's like speaking throughout the view you can't really make those connections because you're trying to keep up she's moving to the next part she's naming the next part so i'm trying to like so i feel like going through the notes myself is like gonna be easy and then if it's like something that does not make sense it's always useful to like hear someone say it then it makes sense so like if there's a part that i feel like ah what's going on here then that's when i watch the video but then yeah, overall the lecture videos are helpful but then i'm just gonna do the notes right now and currently i'm gonna wait for the wi-fi to come back because i'm feeling a little bit lazy but i'm just gonna wait for the wi-fi to come back but for now i want to make some like can you guys see this i want to make like these things to put on my around the study area I'm gonna put verses first one as you guys saw is Matthew 24 verse 30 let me share some others um and also these two verses are from the bible study i don't know the service we had yesterday and it says the end of a thing is better than its beginning um and then there's a one that says fear and intimidation is a trap that holds you back but when you place your confidence in the Lord, you'll be seated in the high place. It's Matthew 29 verse 25. Um, your future is bright and filled with living hope that will never fade away. It's Proverbs 23 verse 18 in TPT. And then there's another one. It says, go ahead, be lazy and passive, but you'll go hungry if you live that way. And it's Proverbs chapter 19 verse 15 in tpt again and things like the lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my god is my rock in whom i take refuge in my shield and the horn of my salvation my stronghold just to like verses to read over whenever maybe i'm doing a topic that i do not understand so that like overwhelming me a topic that seems challenging but then to believe all those promises and then yeah basically i'm just looking through the highlighted all the verses that i highlighted and i'm just gonna choose the ones that i'm gonna put up there and i'm also gonna write a prayer for the academic year just to put it there just to like read it um just like last year when i had a prayer for exams and so i'm just gonna do for like the academic year in general but yeah, actually i'm just i think i'll leave this for later because like i need to do an item but then i'll leave this until later because my mind is still active since it's still the morning so i'm just gonna go ahead read and annotate these notes so yeah let's get into it
Christmas is all about. Mike, please. like going over the lecture slides and also like pointing out important things we should know and stuff we can like just ignore so right now it's currently for quarter past three and as you guys know dinner is at four but i'm just gonna read this book because actually i started it but never ended it so i'm just gonna start it from the beginning again because i just said like i need something else apart from social media to like do so i'm just gonna start this book obviously i have my bible and all of that but then like there's also like this time we use for social media so i'm like if i can replace that time with like okay so my camera died but i was just saying i'm just gonna start this book i think like i read until this point because you can you guys see like i was left with this part but i never finished it and i know if i like start from here i won't understand anything because it's been a while since i read it so i'm just gonna start and let's see how it goes keep me accountable in the comments to like continue reading and not just stop after like the first few chapters but yeah really excited to start hopefully this time i can keep up with it and not give up um yeah but then let me do this and i'll catch up with you guys whenever Thank you. 